Anti-white racism is systemic in Britain, systemic in a country where white British makes up the vast majority of people, over 80%, even though that number is decreasing fast, decreasing by the design of people who believe they should be made into a minority in their own country. The goal is also to turn them, especially white men, into second-class citizens. Discrimination and mass immigration are deployed as tools to achieve those goals. And the best bit is these activists are saying things like we just need white people to get out of the way. And it's all about equity. They couldn't care less about people of Indian or Chinese heritage. To hell with them. Just get white people out of the way and replace them with black people. That's it. Listen to this racist. Diversity and inclusion drive. We're actually starting to discriminate against white men. OK, so what I will say is this conversation that we're actually having is about race equity. And that very much connects to positive discrimination. That's the only way that you can achieve race equity. So I just want to make it very clear. Positive discrimination and negative discrimination achieve the exact same result. And so whilst these initiatives are excellent and more than welcome, as you can tell, they also alienate other races and marginalised communities that also feel grieved and that can cause extra tension. And so for me personally, Personally, this comes down to the path of least resistance, OK? So organisations find it a lot easier to turn race equality into tick boxing and tokenism as opposed to changing an entire culture. And that is mm. where the problem lies. And so for me personally, if you have a culture of prejudice, it's quite clear that you're going to need quotas. And so if you didn't have the culture of prejudice, you wouldn't need quotas. And so for me personally, I don't need a quota from a white person. What I need is for white people to get out of our way. And so in other words, work on your prejudice and you won't need quotas. Get out. She's been openly racist and admits it makes her happy to see racism happening before her very eyes. Can you imagine someone coming on TV and saying we just need black people to get out of the way? and admitting the fact that it is happening is making them happy. More disturbing than her words is that they have managed to institutionalise anti-white racism in Britain. And the worst bit is it is seen as completely acceptable and justified. A woman who presents herself as African kicked up a national racism scandal because Lady Hussey asked her where she was from. It was national news for weeks. Yet over 100 plus people were estimated to have been turned away from jobs in the Royal Air Force alone because they had white skin and not a whisper about it from the mainstream media. If I'm being perfectly honest, we deserve everything we get if we are prepared to sit back and put up with this crap. The people have to stand up to the cultural socialists like this woman and say, no, we aren't going anywhere. We'll be getting you out of the way. It's time for the people to stand up and be counted that she's the one getting her way, and so far, it seems, no one is properly challenging her racist nonsense. People who think like her seem to be in positions of power, making the rules. She also spoke of equity, which is very different from equality. In this context, she means black people were once discriminated against, so now is revenge your clock. White people of today deserve a taste of their ancestors' medicine. Therefore, it's only fair that whites alive now receive the same treatment black people historically received. They believe this will even the score. It is happening in every area of society. As I said, it is the most widespread form of racism and the only acceptable form of racism in the country. Whites get turned away from positions purely for the colour of their skin, whether it is jobs in presenting on TV, the armed forces, politics, publishing, healthcare, business or broadcasting. They are being systematically discriminated against because those in charge want to keep whites out. This is happening under the Conservative government. It's no wonder when we have ministers like Grant Shapp saying he's not interested in non-issues like the silly woke stuff. He's only interested in issues that matter like the economy. No wonder it's gotten this bad with clueless idiots like him running the country. No longer it is, a, is it about the content of your character or ability. Your skin colour alone matters. Get rid of white because black is right, we're told. We have people getting highly skilled jobs and jobs in high places purely because they are black. Imagine the insanity of surgeons, engineers and pilots employed just because they have black skin. That means extremely competent white men are not given the jobs because they have the wrong skin colour. 
And as they make up a massive part of the population, that means masses of competent people are excluded from these roles. A total catastrophe for the nation. The bottom line is any fool can see what is going on. How more obvious can it be? Every movie and TV show is being remade using black actors instead of white ones. Even Winston Churchill is now being played by a black man. And it's all done in the name of anti-white racism, a form of racism that has been duplicitously hidden behind diversity and inclusion. This will go down in history as the country that sat back and watched its own destruction. It is usually minorities who are discriminated against. Here in Britain, the roles are reversed. We have a majority on the receiving end of racism while they watch their country being taken away from them.